wish that you could just turn back time like Benjamin Button and be your more youthful self? Do you ever feel like you're living in this dream and you just wish you could wake up and have more energy and be in a better mood and have stronger muscles and firmer, stronger erections, better libido, and you just don't understand why things are starting to decline? You know that you're aging and you know that this is part of the process. You just don't understand why and you want to know why. Well, I'm here to help you with that. I'm Stephanie Wolf, the leading sexual wellness clinic here in Studio City, California at the Nova Center. And today we are going to talk about the most powerful anti-aging peptide called Samorlin or CJC. So first of all, back to what some of my videos are all about is what is a peptide? Peptide is a big trigger word. So many patients are researching what is a peptide. You know, I put collagen peptides in my coffee or I put collagen peptides in my protein shake. Does that mean anything? Well, yes, of course it does. We make over 300,000 peptides naturally in our body and they're just a string of amino acids and they all have different amounts of amino acids and different types of amino acids, which makes them unique. So for instance, there's a peptide that produces collagen. There's a peptide that helps build testosterone. And then of course, there's a peptide that releases growth hormone. Naturally with aging, all of our hormones are gonna start to decline, as well as our amino acids, which means that our peptides are also gonna start to decline. Remember, the brain is aging and the brain begins to atrophy. And that that includes your hypothalamus and your pituitary, which is responsible for all of this communication. It's just part of the program, you guys. When you see something on the market, such as collagen creamers or collagen peptides that you're gonna add to your protein shake, I often get the question from patients, is this actually a collagen peptide? Is it really going to help increase my collagen production? And the answer is yes. It just takes time, just like anything in your body. Whenever you're starting something new, always plan on three months before you actually start to see the benefits of whatever it is that you're doing. And the easiest way I say to my patients or explain it is that the first month of you doing something, whether it's a vitamin or a supplement or a peptide or a hormone, your body's trying to figure out what you're doing different and why you're doing something different. And then really the second month, the body goes, okay, I guess this is here to stay. So we might as well go with it. And then the third month, everybody is in synergistic mode and they all start working together. And that's really when you start to see the benefit. So you do have to be committed to something for at least three months in order for you to start seeing some benefits. So back to Samorlin and CJC. What are these peptides? Well, they consist of 29 amino acids and they look identical to something called growth hormone releasing hormone. And growth hormone releasing hormone is what your hypothalamus, in your brain releases to then tell your pituitary gland to secrete growth hormone. So what does Samorlin and CJC do? It actually triggers your own growth hormone production. And why is that important? Well, growth hormone, like I said, is the most powerful anti-aging hormone. It's responsible for so many things. It's responsible for neurogenesis, which means that it helps new nerve brain cells, helping prevent dementia. As a matter of fact, I had a husband and wife that I was seeing, they were in their 70s, and she was starting to present with some early stages of dementia. So I started her on some Samorlin, and about three to four months later, they came back in to see me, and the husband was ecstatic. He said, we're actually having communication again, and she's laughing, and she's responding, and she's back to work. Of course, he liked that. They're doing their work together, but it was important to see that it does help the brain. The second Second thing it does is it helps promote collagen production and blood flow. So I had a mechanic reach out to me about two months after starting Samorlin, and he said, you know, normally I would go home with scabs and cuts and bleeding because that's just the nature of my job. I'm a mechanic. But I've noticed in the last couple months, I don't have that. It's almost like my skin is stronger, it's thicker, it's tighter. What is it that I'm taking that's doing that? And I said, it's Samorlin. I know, it regrows that tissue makes you more youthful. And then of course, what we do at the clinic has to do with angiogenesis, the formation of new blood vessels. Why is that important? Well, again, as we start to age, our blood vessels become weakened or 
if you've ever heard of the word endothelial dysfunction. That's a big trigger word. That just means that there's damage to the lining of your blood vessels. And this damage can be caused by smoking, alcohol, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, diabetes. You know, pretty much everything that's in this world will cause endothelial dysfunction over time. So if you're having that, your blood vessels just aren't as strong as they used to be. So you're not bringing in this rich oxygenated blood to feed your tissue. If you're not feeding that tissue, that tissue is not gonna be healthy. It's not gonna be strong and fluctuant and grow. Again, the aging process. So we talked about a couple things. Samorlin, CJC, helping with your brain, helping with your collagen. It helps with blood flow to help build new tissue, but it also helps put you into deep REM sleep. And you know what happens with deep REM sleep, you repair. That's the time to repair everything. Your testosterone production, your cortisol production, estrogen, progesterone. This is when the magic happens, is during this sleep time. So if you can get into this deep REM sleep, you're gonna start repairing naturally. In fact, maybe you are doing a little Benjamin Button. Maybe you are reversing some of that aging process. And really, it's just through a peptide called Samorlin and or CJC. So why wouldn't you just take human growth hormone? If you could just take human growth hormone, it sounds like it, it's amazing. It would do all these amazing things. Well, there's a caveat to that. Human growth hormone is a synthetic pharmaceutical, which means that the way it's designed is a one size fits all. And as you guys know, we are not a one size fits all. We're all different individuals. We all require something a little bit different. And one side of it, it's not the greatest. But the other part that I really don't like is that our body body has a natural feedback loop system. We have positive feedback loops and we have negative feedback loops. And the reason why our body has that is because it's a machine, it's a mechanism. It's to help our body do what's right and natural and good. So if something is bad, the body goes into negative feedback and says, whoa, I don't wanna do this, let's not do it. Well, when you take synthetic human growth hormone, what you do is you naturally stop your own production of growth hormone. Not only do you stop your natural production of growth hormone, but you tell your feedback loops, I don't need you. I don't need you to work. I got this. And so the feedback loops go, cool, I'm going to go over there. They don't need my help today. So if you just told your feedback loops not to work, then nobody's paying attention to what's happening. So then you're constantly injecting this human growth hormone, things can go bad. You can get diabetes. You can have enlarged organs. I see a lot of that. Enlarged liver, enlarged intestines. And it's just not allowing the body to do what's natural and what's right. So sometimes, you may have heard, it can actually enhance tumor growth. And there's nothing you can do about it because you just shut down your feedback loops. So here at the Nova Center, I'm not a big fan of human growth hormone. I would prefer to do peptides because because I'm allowing your body to listen to itself and to do what's natural for yourself. So some of you have asked, how do you provide Samorlin or CJC? And we have two mechanisms. One is through injection, which is the most common one. That's the one you guys have all heard about, you've read about, you've watched other YouTube podcasters talk about. And that's using an insulin syringe. It's a sub-Q injection. But the other one is a trochee form. A lot of patients are needle phobic and I get it. They don't want to poke themselves every day. And so we did have a pharmacy create a trochee form and believe it or not, it really does work. I do see results with the trochee form too. So it really is preference on which one you prefer to do. There is no wrong or right way of doing it. If you're interested in learning more about Samorlin or CJC or how you can get started, I'm going to have you call the Nova Center and schedule your contact consultation. Now, I definitely want to see some blood work with that. There are some certain markers I'm looking for before I want to get you started because this is how I'm going to monitor you so that I know what dosage you should be on, how frequently you should be taking it, just to make sure that I'm doing right by you. Remember, we're not a one size fits all. We are all different and we all have different goals. So I wanna make sure that we at Novus customize a plan that's specific to you and your needs. So give us a call at the Novus Center.